Good morning. How are you doing? Oh my god. Right, I'm starting my day off right with a red berry costa summer berry costa blue. Not blue, red, summer berry cooler thing. See, I told you guys on Ko-Fi I will spend it on red berry summer costa things. And I do. They're the best things ever. Do you ever just wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy? Do you ever wake up in the morning and you're like, my mental health's bad today. I'm gonna go and get a piercing. Well, that's me like literally every freaking day. But I'm, pa I'm a parent, I can't do that. I can't do the impulse thing. Bus, stop interrupting my vlog. Don't, <laughs> I can't just wake up and go, right, I'm gonna go get a piercing. I have to plan, plan my time throughout the school run because my piercing's on in Ipswich. They're in London, Colchester, well, London usually, but I'm going to Colchester today. So I planned out my impulse piercing today and I am off to Colchester Body Arts never been to the studio before but it's been recommended to me by my friend and they use really good jewellery and their portfolio looks amazing so trust in you guys oh my arm is burning <sighs> sweat pants oh that's not a flattering angle let's come back I've got a little while before my train comes the birds are even laughing at me thanks great boost of confidence guys so I've got a little while before my train comes so I'm just chilling I put some uh, lilac in my hair last night. Lip direction lilac. I literally put it on for about 30 seconds to a minute. Put it on, washed it straight off, and it left my hair white, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. So happy with that. I am sat in mud. I've got to put my arm down. Give me a minute, I'll come back to you. I knew I should have brought my tripod, but I feel like a twat walking around. Like, I feel like a twat anyway, but holding my phone, I feel like a twat, like a level five twat. Holding a tripod with a phone on, I feel like a level 7.3. 3.5 I don't know an 8 a point eight, an 8 point something twat so I'm off to get my vertical lip done again I don't I don't want to hear oh you've had it done a million times I don't I don't care I don't care oh it's my body I want it done again so the last one I had to take out because I was in hospital I had an MRI scan I had such short notice I didn't have time to order quality jewelry I had to get cheap plastic retainers off, e off Amazon and they screwed up the piercing. They messed it up because they are literally trash. But I was like, it's a case of I try this and maybe have a piercing at the end of it or I just take it out and lose it. Definitely. I tried it. I still lost it. I let that close up and I'm off to get it redone again today. My hair looks, I don't know, should I cut this bit a bit too short? It needs to grow out. <laughs> yeah, I'm off today to get that redone and I'm meeting Jess from Norwich, she's coming to hang out with me, and Jazz from Colchester, and we're going to get Weber spoons because this bitch loves a spoon. You cannot keep me from a spoon. If I go anywhere, the first thing I do is look up to see if they've got a spoon. I swear, London is like my playground because there's spoons on every freaking corner, and they're all pokey stops as well, so it's just like I kick your Pokemon asses in the, in the gyms. So I've got like 10 minutes to chill, because it's sweating, I'm sweating. I, like take a good whiff. You can probably smell me. Um, but I'm gonna try and vlog a bit more than I usually do today. So I usually um, do like montages when I do vlogs. And I, I, I feel like I've said this in a lot of vlogs lately, um, but for my download vlog, I vlogged more, I spoke more basically. And you guys seem to really enjoy that. So I'm gonna try and do that more. So you can see more of my weird personality out in public. This is gonna end well, isn't it? Oh, my knee pits are sweaty. Ben still hasn't let me lift that down. I got a sweaty knee pit at download and I wiped it with my finger and it was literally thick and green. And then I wiped it on his trousers and he's like, oh, that was so disgusting. Arm is aching, boobs are melting, face is grossing. I don't have lipstick on either. I can't because I'm getting it done. It's just so much hassle to have it take all my lipstick off. Um, but I have so much scar tissue here as well from all the piercings I've had. So that's gonna be fun. I feel really sorry for the piercing. Okay, that's gonna be like pushing a straw through brick. So that's my day today. Come with me. Actually, you could have come with me because I put it on Instagram and I was like, someone come with me. I don't like to get pierced by myself. So yeah, I'm gonna chill and uh, drink. Walking to the station now. I just did the loudest fart I think I've ever done in my life. This lady, she was, only, she was quite far behind me, but I'm pretty sure she felt the floor rumble. I love that phone box because that's where a, a man chucked his poo at my old friend. And that always makes me smile when I walk past. <laughs> Train station up ahead. 
I just don't like I'm talking to myself. Cool. I do talk to myself quite a lot, so at least. Oh, that's such a better angle than that. Daytime. Nighttime. Uh, uh. Good old Ipswich. Look. Police here. Police station. Oh, what's the fire station? I got my headphones in, so I don't know if you can hear me. These are the worst traffic lights ever. They change green for like for like six seconds. Yeah. That was a weird finger to use on a traffic light. Jesus, I thought that was a hawk up there. No. It's just a kite. Kite would make a great like aeroplane spotter. Oh it's green, let's go. Quick, quick, it's green. Look, I'm halfway across the road and it's already red. Jesus, it's like it was built for the BFG. This is gross, don't fall for it. And this price, I refuse to pay this. Absolutely not, extortionate, cost of living, disgusting. Look at that tools. Got my tux on, my two pound tux shoes. And we're at another traffic light. Oh, I can't see, there we go. I'm here, I made it. <coughs> I've just run out of my drink, but perfect timing. It's good because I need a poo as well. Bye train! There was too many people waiting for the train, so I've um, I've decided to get the next one. <laughs> Hello, social anxiety. Next one's only in 15 minutes, so I don't have to wait long. But now I've got the whole like bottom of the track all to myself. So this is nice, I can kind of calm down, de-stress. There's loads of people on the other side now, they're all looking at me. One's taking a picture. Don't worry, I'll still be on time. I went for a wee as well. Um, and the lady was, there was a lady in front of me who was really, really rude. Like she did not expect me to have something that could urinate. Like, I, I don't know if she didn't expect me to go to the toilet, but she didn't like hold the door. I expected her to hold the door open. Like she kind of went in front of me and didn't hold the door and I feel like that's just British manners. She was rude. Got no one to talk to, it's quite lonely. Jess missed her train as well, or her train didn't come because it didn't have any toilets. So she's going to be late as well. So it kind of worked out all right because we'll, we'll both be a bit late, but we'll both end up getting to Colchester on time. I'm just thinking, this might actually be her train, the one that I get, because they both, her train comes through Ipswich. So I might, we might meet up on the train, that would be rather amusing. Just chilling. Don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to talk to you about. Did a little heart on my face. Now it looks like I've got a bruise, like I've been slapped and I've drawn a little heart on it. Oh, there's a train coming. This might be my train. No, this can't be my train. This is too fast. This actually is my train. <laughs> that was like not even 10 minutes. Not even five minutes. Oh my God. This is, this is wonderful. Is this going to Colchester? Chelmsford? I don't know if it is. Listen. Didn't say where it's stopping. I think that is my train. And I've, got, I've come all the way down here and now I've got to go all the way back up. Oh my god, this is what I get for trying to avoid people. Okay, let's go and check the time thing. That wasn't even like five minutes, so I don't think that is my train. No, it's not. It doesn't go to. It goes to Mark's Tay. I have only been to Mark's Tay once and that was for. My friend, my old friend drove us to Mark, me and my ex from there, to Mark Tay. I don't know where I was sat. I feel like it's awkward to go sit in a seat that wasn't the one you just got up from. Yeah, I've only been to Mark's Tay once. We went to see Wednesday 13 in London. Other than that, I've never been there. Do you like my bag? I'm not going to have one that says for animal testing, although I'm not. But I did see a post on uh, Facebook, the book of faces. This is why I love Facebook, because it's just full of whinging, whinging boomers. And it was like a picture of Google of eating out hedgehogs. I didn't realise badgers did this. I'm kind of impressed, to be honest, because I love badgers. Um, they'd eaten the inside of hedgehogs out and left all the spiky bits. And I feel like that's just kind of like eating a conker. And I'm impressed that badgers can do that. But it was a post about how people want badgers killed and like, this is what badgers are doing. I'm like, bitch, it's a food chain. Leave the badgers alone. Although badgers in America are different to badgers here. Ours are polite and posh and black and white striped. And yours are like honey badgers and vicious and like 
you walk down the wrong street and one pulls a gun out on you. <laughs> Although I, I, I am white, so if I did see a honey badger, I would try and pet it. <laughs> That's our toxic trait as white women. We see an animal, we try and pet it. Right, I gotta put my arm down. I, um, I may have muscles, guns, but they're fat. It's, it's not, it's not muscle. So I'm gonna put my music back on because all the people on the other side have been watching me vlog and I feel like they're just going, oh, who does she think she is? If I had a bit of paper, I'd make a little aeroplane and throw it their way with my YouTube channel on. There's an empty bottle there. See it? I thought you weren't allowed to leave like any rubbish at the train station because it could be bombs. And that's a liquid. It needs to go in the bin, so headphones in. I prevail back on. <sighs> Just wait 10 minutes for my train. <laughs> this 10 minutes was lasting a bit longer than the last one. I'm bored. Oh, my moustache is coming through. My makeup's all sweat off. Wonderful, what a pleasant day. It's a nice long train too, so I don't have to walk up the other end. <laughs> I made it. Welcome to this service for London Hi. Liverpool Street. We will be calling at Colchester and London Liverpool Street. <sighs> next stop, Manning Tree. Next stop will be Manning Tree. So, I'm on train. I was sat at a table, but... If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. So I was sat on a table, but I felt bad taking up a whole table by myself, so I moved to a little, little seat. Plus, it's easier to vlog here. Um, so, I think I'm on the same tra train as Jess, but I I've got anxiety, so I don't want to walk up and down the carriages trying to find her. I'll, I'll meet her in Colchester. We'll get off at Colchester and we'll be like, ah, we're on the same train, how funny. Um, so I've got an hour till my appointment and um, once I get off the train, I've got to walk up a massive, massive hill and my body is not built for walking up hills. But it's fine. It's fine. Like a little cat bumble. A little cluster of them. I'm collecting them. I'll have another one to add to my collection. Wouldn't you think my collection is complete? As if I'm sat on a train singing to myself. Um, so I'm gonna have a little, um, little chill. I'm gonna the cows. There's no cows. I love trains, I love buses. Cause you just put your music on and no one talks to you and that's oh, so relaxing. So I'm gonna put my music back on and just, con just, Reevaluate my entire life while I'm on this train. Fun fact, I can't, I'm charging my phone so I can't, the wire's really short so I can't lift it up properly. Um, I saw an FBI thing that if you ever see a, um, a ch public charging port on like a train or a bus or at the airport, never ever ever plug your phone into it because scammers, the scammers of the world, put these little things over them. So I'm trying to hold the thing um, so that it like downloads everything from your phone or it puts something in your phone. So you should never ever use them. Always carry a portable charger. I use Anchor ones. They're about, oh, they vary in price. You can get them from Amazon. They're so good. I have one charger that lasted me all of download. They're really good. Never use public charging ports. This is why I need my own TV show. I know, random shit. Speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. I definitely should have bought a longer charging wire. This one is impossible to work with. The next stop will be London Liverpool. Lady just smacked me with a bag. Welcome to England. 
We're not polite. We're rude bastards. Now I've got to look out for someone with pink hair. But this is Colchester, so everyone has pink hair. Okay, she did not get off the train. So she, if she was on the same train as me, she did not get off. And I have, oh look, I've accidentally stopped by a vending machine. It'd be rude not to get one. Oh, Kinder Buenos, they're my favorite. I'm gonna walk down the station a little bit, got another wee, and see if I can find, well, there's another train. Maybe she's on this one. See if I can find the pink. I'm vlogging, stop. See if I can find the pink haired lady before I piss my pants. How is that train like 30 seconds behind my train? I bet she is on that one as well. Quick, I need a wee, I need a wee. I've got the bladder the size of three big beans. Why is reflection me always so much cuter than real me? I don't look like this. Oh, I actually look chubbier in the mirror. <laughs> no, this is how I really look. Oh. Right, let's go find the pink haired lady. Oh, I got a wedgie. Sort that out. Hope no one walks in because I've got my hand up my ass. <laughs> Guys, I'm stuck in the station. can't find where to get out. Oh, I'm not joking. They've changed it all around. W. Smith. How do I get out? This way. Cool. Oh, that was embarrassing. I, they've changed. Well, I usually get the Colchester town train, which I would have done today. But I thought I was meeting Jess. And I've re I've just reread our messages. I don't think she's coming. Oh, should I get a taxi? No, I'll walk it. So basically, I read our messages wrong. She was coming from Norwich and her train got cancelled. Um, and I thought she was gonna get the next train making, which would make her late. But I don't think she's coming. So I've been messaging her like, oh, I'm on the train, where are you? <laughs> I'm, oh my God. She's gonna get these messages and be like, what the, can't she freaking read? So now I'm walking. I've got to walk up North Hill Road. If you know North Hill Road, North Hill, I've got itchy, itchy thigh. If you know, Col I'm already out of breath. If you know Colchester, you know that massive hill. I've got to walk up that. Um, but that's all right, because I'm going to meet my friend Jazz at 12 for some food. I'm going to need to, I need to cross the road. I'm going to need to, no, what, what do I say this side? I don't know. I'm not, I need an adult. I'm not allowed to do these things by myself. I get lost. I get kidnapped. But if I got kidnapped, they, I'm pretty sure they would return me. They wouldn't even ask for a ransom. I would just talk them to death. So I've got to walk up North Hill, which is literally like this. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to show you. My legs are not made for that. Stop your belly aching and get walking. Oh, I hate this road. I need to cross it. There's a road, this, <laughs> I hate this road. Oh, there's traffic light, okay. Oh, Barbie, so. <laughs> God, I hate this. Right, I'm gonna put my music on. I'm following my maps and walk up this hill and I will um, try not to have an anxiety attack. <laughs> oh, I'll message Jazz, see if she's free, see if she'll come meet me. <sighs> And I'll chat to you guys probably in 10 minutes in the fetal position on the floor with someone standing over me going, it's fine, miss, it's fine. Help is on the way. <laughs> I'll be good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I can't tell if they're coming down this way. There's no traffic light here. Should I just run? Oh, my God, this could be the end of Emily Boo. Ah! Oh, my God, it nearly was. <laughs> After all that though, it turns out I was going the right way. <laughs> oh, there is someone with pink hair. Maybe she just does them. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. Oh, that shop's called The Magnet and it's got pictures of magnets. <sighs> Breathe, Emily. You're getting a spoons after this. Might even have time for a spoons breakfast. That's my like, that's my jam. I don't like jam. Water for your dog. Rude, I don't have a dog. 
I'm going the right way. I've got this. Look, I'm, I'm an independent woman. I'm doing this all by myself. <laughs> he knows I'm an independent woman. <laughs> you still want to be my friend? So many of you message me. And you're like, I want to be your friend. Do you? Is this really what you want to be friends with? Because this is it. This is what you get. This is the package. It's a lot of crying and a lot of stressing and a lot of, I need an adult. I swear I'm going to collapse when I get into the studio. Don't even want the piercing now. The excitement's gone. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's, oh, I just missed Green Man because I was talking to you. I've got to do it again. Fuck's sake. I've just crossed the road and I don't think I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to go up that. Yeah, fuck you prep school. Um, this is your future. Um, I, I'm, my phone's vibrating because of maps. I need to stand in the shade. I'm too hot. I'm overstimulated. I don't know where I'm going. All right. My ex's best friend lives over there. So he can probably see me. He's probably sending me pictures to my ex. Like, oh, here's what the love of your life is up to. They're having a breakdown in the street. Oh, right. <laughs> Let me get my maps up. And remain calm. We got this. We got this. Oh, cash point. I need to get some money out. Okay. Let me do that quickly. <sighs> I think the studio's cash only, so I've got to quickly do that. I'm going to put you away because I don't want you to see how broke I am. <laughs> so I think it's around here somewhere. My, I haven't gone up the big hill yet. There's a, a door. Knock, knock. No one's home, sorry. Oh my god, the Pastel Palace. I've seen this place on TikTok, but I, I've seen the, like the inside of their place on TikTok, but I haven't heard great things about their piercings. That's why I didn't go there. I'm not saying they're not great. I'm just saying I haven't. Let's move on. So I'm going a little bit further up to Colchester Body Arts, which is a little bit further up. <laughs> so tired. This is too much walking for me. Where's my map gone? There's my little monster chompers. Don't know if my belly could handle a fry up. I think I'm just gonna sweat out bacon grease. I don't eat bacon, but oh, my vibrating. It says I'm here. I don't think I'm here. So it's a bin bag. That's not a piercing studio. No, because now I'm panicking again. Um, is that it? That's no, that's trotters. Okay, I've got, to, I've got to look at my map again. It says it's here. It's green. I think I've actually found it. Which is hard to believe considering I had a map and I knew exactly where I was going. Ah, uh, Middlesbrough. I thought I... I thought my phone thought I was in Middlesbrough. So I was panicking, thinking, oh no, I'm going to be lost here forever. Um, wine me up. Oh, don't drink wine. Oh my god, I think I can see it. Suddenly I don't want to get pierced. <laughs> Piercings for me are like impulse. I wake up and I'm like, yeah, I want to get pierced. But, oh, this building's beautiful. Oh, stunning. Look at the flowers. So pretty. I hope it's not like a kidnapping ring shop or anything. Okay, I'm here. Would you believe I made it all by myself? So this is where I'm going. Over there. Oh no, that's my face. Over there, look, there's a sign in the way. Let's move over here so you can see it without the sign. There we go. There we go. They're probably watching from the window like, what the frack is going on? That's where I'm going. Right there. So now we're going to cross this jet. <laughs> He's doing that on purpose. Oh, I tripped. Okay, cross this death trap. Ah! Let's go get pierced. Strictly no person's under 11. Am I under 11? God, let's just go. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I'm so sweaty. Hiya!
to my dick off right now. Just on the consent form, it was all digital, so I did it on my phone, so much easier. Look at how cute the studio is. My phone's dying, so I've got to hold my thing. I'll give you a quick tour, look. Just want to follow this around. Honey, I'm fine. Are you well? We're going in. Ah. Oh, look. Backstage, VIP. Turn my camera. Oh, that's the cutest little backpack. Look. Oh my God, this is massive. <laughs> How do you know what the time is? She's even got a ring light, look. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful.
absolutely fine. Oh, you a star. Oh, bless you. You did really well. And you did. Thanks. Thanks. So I was like, I'm going to shake. I'm going to shake. <laughs> Like, oh my gosh! You want, and then I'll Can I have a these. these lollies? These are they like I don't know what they're called, but they're like the best lollies ever. <laughs> this is how you kidnap me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. The bitch is back. Look, I have a jazz. My emotional support friend. <laughs> Bus is ruining my vibe. The studio was so, so lovely. 100 million, it was Colchester Body Art. BB, 100 million percent gonna be back. Oh Melting. We went up the hill. I don't think you can really see how. I was trying to video the hill, but it just wasn't. It doesn't show it. It doesn't, it didn't. The hill was just so hilly. We're gonna go get some food. I owe Jazz some food. Weather's good. <laughs> um, and then I don't know what we're gonna do. Have a wander around. Explore Colchester. Yeah, come with us. Ooh. Found one. No, not her. A <laughs> money laundering shop. No one inside. No one. Yet yeah, they'll make enough money to pay their rent. Their thousands of pounds of rent. How? They infuriate me for some reason. I don't know why. Represent. I didn't even tell Ben what I was up to today. He just messaged me like, "You having a nice day off? Having a nice day at home?" I'm like, "Yeah, fantastic. Got my feet up. Living my best life." <laughs> Send him a picture of our weather spoons, please. <laughs> Let's find food. Playhouse. I get really stressed crossing roads. <laughs> Look, Weatherspoons heaven. You know, every Weatherspoons has a different carpet. This is the playhouse. Yeah, it actually does. So this is the playhouses. We're in the playhouse. We're in the money. I'm playing the charger. Um, look, it's kind of it's so dark and spooky. If I turn the camera around, um, an old playhouse, like an old theatre, and then up here is the balconies, and then there's fake celebrities up there, and it goes all the way around as well. And this is the glass wash. So we're gonna, um, we're just choosing what we want to eat. We've got our drinks. Having a little natter, having a gossip. Mm, a little swollen. Now I want my lips plumped up. <laughs> yeah, now I want lip filler now. <laughs> what? I've got Bugs Bunny teeth though. I don't know if that would work. <laughs> Getting embarrassed vlogging because the ladies just brought my food and now I'm like, oh, my food's so good. I've got apple crumble and Jazz got. Joe, I think it's donut ice cream. We know how to party. Um, while I've got you, all the playhouse, like all the old, like the ladder, and just I don't know, I just really like it in here. Oh man, yeah, just people. This custard dough is so yellow, looks like something from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Gonna be good though. <laughs> Look at all the celebrities. We just devoured our, our dindins. I'm like hugging out on my dessert. Jazz is collecting candles. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you know, I need to give you some context. She got a message that said, is it your mother-in-law? Yeah. Found some candles. <laughs> she was like, do you want any? They're a pound. I was like, yes, all of them. <laughs> That's Jazz's uncle's tattoo shop. 
in case you're in Colchester. Um, we're going to Primark because that's what you do in Colchester. And everything is shut down. That had little like ukuleles in it. Where are we? Last time I had a SpongeBob ukulele. Yeah, so we're gonna go find uh, Primark, have a little wonder. Oh, sexy toe person. And then um, Jazz has very kindly offered to drive me back to the station because I've got to be back for the school run. <laughs> oh, there's another tow shop. This is they, they're the new coffee shop. What? Oh my god! How much family do you have? <laughs> Oh, child on descendant. We found the holy grail that is pre-marché. Let's go get some clothes. Gotta find Violet a Minecraft t-shirt. Nice How nice are these boots? They look like altar cores. They're 22 quid. That's actually too expensive for Primark. I'm not gonna buy you. Thought they'd be a fiver. Look what we found. How cute is this top? Flip my camera. Look, it's a little star and it's all crocheted. How nice is that? Look what I'm getting. Naked lady candle. Ooh. And some other bits. I'll show you everything I get when I'm on the train. Give me something to do on the way home. Well, I got some stuff. Got a lot of stuff actually. We're gonna find a toilet and then Jazz is gonna drive me to the train station so I can go home, pick up my door, and get a little nap before work. Trying not to fall down the stairs. <laughs> you know, genuinely, I, well, I get stare anxiety. I, I have to watch my feet go downstairs because I I don't trust my brain to not trip me up. Seriously. Yeah, Boofax 107,000, I don't know. Oh, the amount of poo that's probably on that button. <laughs> I'll touch it as well, make, it, make you feel better. <laughs> Never fall. Oh, that was a good transition. <laughs> How many hills? Look. That's just a little hill. I was going to say, oh my god, this car's got all smashed, but it's just the front of the car. Did you just touch the roof? I can't, I can't even like slightly do that. <laughs> That's tall privilege, that is. Oh, look at Jazz's little coat. Pac-Man socks on. Pac-Man. Um shattered now. Jazz is going to very kindly drive me to the train station and then I'm going to get train home, get the bus to the school run, get the bus to school, pick up the child, go home, have a quick nap, go to get ready, go to work. Life's so fun when you work nights or evenings because I'm so tired and now it's like oh I've had this lovely day. And they've got to go home and go back to reality. Yeah. yeah. I know, I've had a lovely day too. Thanks. Thank you for coming this week. <laughs> oh, technology. <Sorry. laughs> oh, so hot. Right, thank you for that. You march in closer. Tell me the soldier. You march in closer. Oh, that ended. <laughs> Oh, I can, I can get out wherever.
Oh no, the stairs anxiety. Watch your step, don't look at the phone. Watch your step, nice and steady. We made it. This side is for walking up, not this side. So we'll go this side. I'm having a sit down. Got my Primark stuff. I got, um. Oh, I'm listening. No, that's not why. I got some good stuff. I'll show you on the train, it's easier. I'm not sure if I'm on the right side. It's either this side or the other side, but it's okay because I'm sat in the shade for the moment. Um, had a really nice day with Jazz. She came to the studio while I was getting pierced. Um, I wasn't allowed anyone in the actual room with me and she was just, she waited for me until I was done. So it was lovely to come out and see her there because I just hate getting pierced by myself. Um, and then we had a walk around, we went to the playhouse, got some, got some food, got some um, apple crumble. Oh, the train! I'm going to have to wait until the train's gone. I can't concentrate. Bye train! So long, suckers! See you in hell! Right, so where was I? I was talking about food. I had apple crumble. When I have apple crumble though, I never actually eat the apples. I just eat the custard and the crumble. And then I give Ben the apples, but Ben wasn't there today. So Ben, you left your apples. We had a little walk around Primark. And I got some nice stuff. I got um, a little, some things from Violet. Got Ben a t-shirt. Got myself some stuff. I shouldn't be allowed to go in Primark because I always, I haven't got any money and I always buy stuff that I don't, I mean, to be fair, Violet needed some pieces. Um, but yeah, I'll show you soon. I feel like the last half of this video has been like, oh, I'll show you what I got. You show, you, I'll show you what I got. I'll show you what I got. And I still haven't shown you what I got. I will when I get on the train, providing that there is no one else around me. <laughs> I've had a really nice day with Jazz, um, and I'm I'm so I'm just ready to get home now. Um, and my lip feels absolutely fine. I actually forgot I got it done. And I just saw it in my camera. Um, it looks like I've had it all the time. It looks like I haven't, it wasn't missing. So I have to go back in a couple of weeks for to get it changed to a smaller bar. And I'm gonna get a disc put on the top as well because I much prefer a disc. It doesn't get, it, it doesn't, like when I do this a lot and I pick my lips a lot and when there's a disc on the top, it's just flat against your lips so you can't feel it and it just, I, I, they heal a lot easier on me. I may also get my nipple, my nipples pierced because I have been toying with that idea. Um, I've had them done before, I've had them done multiple times and I've been toying with the idea because it's summer and I really love in summer, that might be my train, I really love in summer, Norwich, that's my train, I really love in summer when you have um, no bra on and you have a nice top and you just see like nipple bars through it. I want that. Right. Oh, it's packed. I'm not going to be able to show you my stuff. I'll show you when I get home. That is really packed. Sorry. Just what I need to be on a hot tin can with other sardines. Go back to the switch. But the bus is here, so I'm going to jump on the bus quickly, go home. <sighs> what an adventure! Right. Oh my god! Don't turn off. Don't turn off. I've got about 10-15 minutes to get this done before I have to go and do the school run. And I'm sweating. I've got, to take my, I've got my fan on. I'm sorry if you can hear it. I've got to take my belt off. 
the amount of sweat that's under my belt is just I swear that just dripped everywhere excuse all the rubbish behind me i do not have time to sort that out i do not have to hide i do not have time to hide it and pretend that that is not my life that is my life i just hide it for videos i do not have time to hide it today so let me show you what i got the train was so busy on the way back and i'm pretty sure the family in front of me and their horrible little kid took a picture of me i was going to retaliate because usually i'd retaliate and be like sort of film them but I was so sweaty and so hot. Babe, I hope I looked good in your picture. So I'm gonna really quickly show you because I got Violet a bag. Um, it's her birthday in a few days and I have to hide it before she comes home from school. Her style's changing so much. She is very much, I'm trying to keep her a tomboy. She's been a tomboy her whole life and I'm trying to keep her that way. But she's trying to get into the Y2K teenage, tween age i should say fashion and i just my heart's not ready for it guys my heart my heart ain't ready so she asked for a little bag for her birthday and jazz and i saw this one in little primark little primark has a big primark we saw this little cute backpack and blue is her favorite color and i think she's gonna absolutely love it she's got ben's old mobile phone it's a really really old old phone and she just uses it to play pokemon go and whatsapp her cousins and whatsapp me and ben and her nanny and her granny nothing else um she's got a few like toka world games on there um yeah just, just rubbish games so she wanted a little bag to carry outside when she so she doesn't have to hold her phone in her hand and um, for her birthday, I got her a purse because she is she does little jobs around the house and gets gets like a pound here and there. And then we'll go to the shop and she'll spend a pound. And she um, always holds it in her hand. So she asked for a purse and she asked for a bag so that she can just feel a little bit more grown up. And I'm just not ready for this. So she got a little bag. I also got Violet this amazing T-shirt. <gasps> I did have a look, this actually went up to age 15 and then at age 15, 100% would have fit me. I just didn't, I don't think I'd wear it. I'm trying not to buy stuff if I won't wear it. This is me trying to keep Violet in her tomboy era, just as long as I can, but she loves Crash Bandicoot, so I know she'll like this. And then check out the back. How freaking cool is that? She loves baggy, oversized stuff. And this was pretty cheap, actually. This was uh, seven pound from Primark for official Crash Bandicoot official, official Crash Bandicoot. I, actually, the more I'm looking at it, the more I might go back and get myself one. <laughs> I also got Violet this jumper because she loves her jumpers. She loves hoodie, she loves hoodies, jumpers, and she loves Sonic. So she got a little green, cute jumper. Um, I don't know how much this was. So, uh, seven quid again honestly i forget how cheap primark is nice little jumper for violet it's quite thick as well it's perfect for well british weather needs to make its freaking mind up um what else did i get i got ben a t-shirt even though i just moaned at him because he had so many t-shirts in his wardrobe that because ben and i uh, violet and i wear ben's t-shirts all the time and he had so many t-shirts that i couldn't I physically could not put the t-shirts in the wardrobe anymore. There was no space. So I was like, Ben, 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 you need to sort your t-shirts out. You need to make some space so I can put your t-shirts away. And he sorted them all out and he's like, yes, but my birthday is Christmas. Everyone buys me t-shirts. <laughs> Cause he's such a pain in the ass to buy for. A t-shirt is an easy option. So I bought him another one. <laughs> it's SpongeBob. Um, it's got like dead Patrick on it. I actually only got it because it said SpongeBob Krusty Pants on it and it made me laugh. I thought that was pretty cool. And Violet loves SpongeBob, so she's gonna, I know it's for Ben, but she's gonna really like it too. Ben's favorite pair of trousers are these like lilac baggy ripped flares. And this is gonna go really, really well with those. Um, they only had it in extra large, so it's going to be nice and baggy, nice and baggy for him too. So that's really cool. I gotta be quick. Violet will be home soon. What else did I get? Socks. Primark socks are the best. Velvet plush tights. Um, tights. Are they tights? Ah, oh, why do I get tights? Literally says tights. I meant to get leggings. Why do I get tights? I'm actually really angry about that. 
but I, I never take stuff back, so I'm gonna open them. Oh, I thought that was the I thought that was the ankle bit. These are amazing anyway. They are um, thick leggings. They are terrible for now weather because it's really hot and sweaty and absolutely gross weather right now. But in winter, these are incredible. They're like fleecy velvet lined and that is so tiny. Is that gonna fit? That said that was my size. Is that gonna fit me? That better fit me. Oh, okay, the actual foot bit is not as thick as the rest of it. Kind of like that feels like normal tights. And then that is where like the fleece starts. These are perfect for the school run when it gets cold and you don't wanna, you just wanna chuck leggings on. Just like they're fleece lined. They're so good, so quick and easy. On that note, I also got some legging shorts. These were, I think, I, I don't know, they don't have a price on. Um, these were three pounds. Oh, they are. They're three pound. Three pound little legging shorts. These are. I've actually got some on today. These are my best friends. I wear them under uh, under like every every dress I have. I wear these little shorts. I'm actually gonna go back and get some more because I only have a few pairs and they just they stop chub rub. How long have I got? Been recording for eight minutes. I, I gotta go faster. I gotta go fast. I got some more leggings because Primark leggings are the absolute best. And again, I do the school run in my pajamas. So I literally put leggings on and my pajama top or Ben's t-shirt. So I got boring. They, actually, everything I got is really boring. I got boring school run clothes. And I never go to Primark, so I never, I don't know how to. I did get this though. This is really, really nice. We actually found this. Someone had hung it up in the kids section and we thought it was kids. And we were like, I looked at it for Violet and I went, oh, that's actually really nice. Over a strappy top. And then we saw it as adults. Look how tiny that is though. But it is super stretchy. So that is really cool. This was six pound and I got it in size medium. And yeah, this over a cami top in um, in summer now is gonna be so cool. So I never, well, I don't know if you noticed, I never wear cami tops. Uh, I mean, I've got one on now, but I never wear them by themselves. I don't like this part of my body. I don't really like the top of my arms either. I like them to be covered. So um, even just having them covered a little tiny bit like this, love it. Face wipes, I'm gonna use them in a minute to take my makeup off, put work makeup on, because I do different makeup for work because I like to keep work me and real life me completely separate. Does anyone else do this? Cause I have one friend that does it and another friend that thinks this is weird. I just, I like to not be me at work. I like to just be, I like to be different. Okay, what else have I got? Oh, Jazz says this nail varnish, this was a checkout purchase. You know, when you walk into the till and there is the, the stuff that you just need. Um, and Jazz said this nail varnish was really, really good. So I got black gel effect nail varnish, one pound. So I, I mean, if it's shit, it was a quid. If it's good, I'll go back and get more. And then last but not least, I got my booby, my booby lady candle. It was 50 whole pennies. Excuse my dirty nails, I heard I say. 50 whole English pennies for a sexy lady candle. They actually had a lot of naked lady stuff. They had vases of lady butts and um, like vases of this sculpture. So that's it. My lip is doing absolute, my lip is feeling absolutely fine. I keep forgetting I've got it done. I can't get over it. I've got, I've got a mirror here. I'm just like, I can't stop looking at it. I'm so glad to have it back. I now want more piercings. I, I, I like, I want my nipples re-pierced. I want two more nose studs. I've got makeup all off my nose i want my eyebrows pierced i want some in the middle i want, I want everything pierced i want oh my god i want every do you know what i've been thinking but i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it but i've been thinking about a top lip piercing but i'm not gonna do it don't worry because i paid all that money to have my scars removed i'm not gonna do it but i keep seeing top lip piercings and particularly the gesture and i'm just like Lane, if you're watching, this is your fault because you look so damn good with it and I want, I want it. 
Um, right, that is it. I have to go. It was so nice to spend the day with Jazz and go do a little bit of shopping around Colchester because I don't really get to do that very often. It was just nice to walk around Colchester as well because, again, I don't really get to do that. All right, I'm going. Thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. I tried to do more talking and I don't know if I did too much talking and not enough actual, like, vlogging around. I need to get the balance of the talking and the around footage. I I'm trying, I'm still learning, but I'm trying. But thank you guys anyway for watching, I really appreciate it. Hopefully this piercing lasts, because this is number seven of my lip piercings in a year, I think. And I really don't want to do it again. It didn't hurt as much as um, the last one, to be fair. And because it went through so much scar tissue, I was expecting it to be really painful and it, it just wasn't. So I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. The massivest of massive shout outs to BB, um, the piercer at Colchester Body Arts. You were incredible and so lovely and so made me feel so relaxed and so down, so down to earth. And she just made me feel really at ease because I get nervous going to new piercers because you're putting your aesthetic life in there we well, you're putting your life like I could have bled to death I was putting my life in her hands and she did amazing so absolute high five I will definitely 100% be 100 I'm sorry you're stuck with me now I will be back and and now I know that I don't have to have an anxiety attack getting from the train station to the studio because it is literally a straight line I'll be I'll be back I will see you very soon with another video I hope you enjoyed the emotional roller coaster of this one I need to go lay down Take care of yourself, boobs, much love, and most of all, stay weird.